everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel I am going to be painting a round brush design on this green glass bottle using a 16 and a number 12 round brush and I'm using a how did here a second ago number 12 flat brush these are all a magic flat or er, brushes paint brushes and I will list the links down below using a fine liner by Westonia oops excuse me Paints I'm using are all folk art paints. I'm using Teal Topaz, French Blue, Wicker White, Thicket, and Yellow Light. All right, so let's go ahead with the number 16. Oh, excuse me, nope, I forgot one other thing I'm using. I'm using one of these daubers. This is a medium one, and again, I'll list these uh, down below the video. This is actually a Martha Stewart brand, but I list a different one down below my videos. All right, so I'm going to put the dauber into the paint, and you can kind of clean it off a little bit if you want, or put it on paper towel, whatnot. But I'm going to go ahead and just push down, push down, and I'm going to do three. So I am rotating them. Okay, pretty darn easy. Then I'm going to pick up the number 16, go into the French blue, dab into a little bit of the white, and do the type of petals that I push down and pull towards the center. Push down and pull towards the center. And you can move them in different directions if you want, meaning like it kind of goes, swerves one way and then another as you're painting. If you feel like you need to go back over it, go back over it. This is with the style of painting, it's okay to add the extra layers. You know, just do it while you're painting it instead of waiting it or blow drying it. Towards the center. And you can make them different lengths, different widths. They don't have to be all the same. Come here, continue on. And there's no certain distance. You can leave some distance in between. You can have them butt right back up to each other. As far as the petals go, that's up to you. I'm just leaving another little bit of space because I am going to put another row. And if you want to strive for these to be the same length, you're welcome to do that. I just not really intending to do that do it that way but that's up to you and I like to give you some freedom to be creative and do what works for you okay so I got that one in I'm gonna put that brush aside come in here with the number 12 round brush go into the teal topaz stick a little bit into the white so we're still doing white, and then I'm just going to do smaller petals, more frequent petals that will come in towards the center. And it's okay if you come into the middle. Now, on my paper, I liked how by doing that, it actually made a pretty neat center. But if you want to pounce the center again, you're welcome to do so. Now this layer, I am putting the petals a little closer or a lot closer, and there's more of them. Okay. If you're new to my channel, please know that I do create simple videos for beginner painters. And this is just to get people to start trying 
and not be afraid or intimidated by it because some some new painters at least for me even some people I've watched it's just too many steps I don't like a lot of steps and I like to be able to do it quickly and get done I'm impatient <laughs> so um, yeah but you got to find what's right for you and that's what I do I do a lot of exploring and figure out even like with your paints because not all the paints are the same I just happened to have, after trying a lot of paints early on, I found that the folk art paints were the ones I liked the best, and that's what I stuck with. So if you want to come into the center a little bit, you can. Like I mentioned before, just kind of gives it a just an, a different look, almost like you've intentionally I like that. And if you want to go around to make sure it does that all over, you can do that too. It's up to you. Like I said, you could always pounce over it, but I like the look that it's giving me by just leaving it like that. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, put my fine liner into my thicket and then into the yellow, just the yellow light. And just kind of roll it, and I can even touch into some white if I want. All right, so then let's go here. I'm gonna go like this just so that we can see it, because I could have just come in here, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make the make the stem stand out a little bit. Have it come down here so it'll be a little bit in here, and then we'll pull it out this way. So you can put your stems however you want to. I just like to have them, in most cases, to be kind of wavy and not, not, straight whenever possible again that's up to you all right next thing I'm gonna do we're almost finished just put one side into the yellow light one side into the thicket and I can go back and forth and just blend it in a little bit I am NOT a dedicated it has to be blended so well and up the brush kind of person Technically, you're supposed to blend it so it's three quarters of the way up the brush. I know what the rules are, but I don't follow them. All right, here we're gonna go. We're gonna just put it down here, and then I'm gonna do just quick, quick moving of the brush, and then turn it. And just quick movement of the brush down. I can just double it up here, come over, and do the same here. I'm keeping the dark on the outside of all these. Now on my paper I had more room, of course, and of course I do my flowers big as you can see. It's just like I'm scrubbing it, just pushing the brush down and moving it. So scrubbing it, scrubbing it, and I can throw one in here. Now, of course, I'm risking pulling up color from underneath, which I'm well aware of. And I'm gonna do it anyways. Almost finished. Appreciate you guys sticking with me. I'm moving my bottle as a paint. It's one thing nice about having something that is able to be moved. Makes it easier. Go over this again. 
wiggle it more. another one over here if you're not a, a big leaf person just do minimal I am a big leaf person so I do a lot of leaves but if you find that that's not your thing then do what resonates with you okay all right so I think I'm gonna do one more up here just to finish it off make sure I'm in the picture here just like I'm scrubbing 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 there you go if you wanted to add some filler leaves in here you could you could make more over here if you wanted but I'm good I think it's good all right I hope you like this video if you do please give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell Prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to hit the share button underneath the video and share this on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. And thanks again for stopping by and taking time to view my video. If you have any questions, concerns, place those down below. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one. Bye.